Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregate news show on YouTube. Look, look, look. There's going to be swearing, smoking, and drinking. And if you don't like those things, well, get the hell out of here, man. Because there it comes, and that's what's going to happen. So, three, two, one. Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. My name is Shamari Clark, and we have a excellent show for you today. And look, look, look. Oh, my gosh. Look, look, look. I tried to hold it together right there. But look, look, look. All right? So, here we go. Three stories tonight, guys. <sighs> Fuck. Look, I told you guys already. I didn't think this was going to occur. But uh, look, look, let's just start out and let's do this in an orderly manner. Coinbase. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this shit first. I want to get to the government story. But look, Coinbase is facing a boycott. They hired, so they're facing a boycott by crypto purists and anti-surveillance types. Apparently, the people that they have running there... All right, we'll talk about it when we get there. I don't know, I can't just tell the story all the time right here. <laughs> Why would you watch the show? And then, Facebook. Is Facebook coin going to be on exchanges soon? Remember we talked about that Zuckerberg Facebook coin? Yeesh, remittent lovers. Yeesh. You know who you are, too. Ripple lovers, ouch. Here comes Facebook. Now, oh, and this is the good. German government coming out with crypto regulations. Mid-2019. I told you guys, May, June, July, boys. May, June, July. Ay, ay, ay. And then shout outs and airdrops. Bang. Yeah. So let's go how we normally go. Let's do how we normally bang. Do we do a bang and then we bang. Yes. Now let's do a refresh. Exactly. Super tight range. Super tight range. And that's why I want you to remember this. Don't get spooked by this weekend's up to 4,000 and down. Remember, we were down at 3,300 uh, 3, on a Bitcoin Well, uh, about three weeks ago, right? We're still nicely consolidating at 3,8. Remember that. Remember that. So, Top 10 of the day, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, EOS, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Tether, Stellar, Tron, and Binance Coin. All right, let's look at what the market moves of the day are. Not much going on. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Single. Oh, there's someone. Who's that? Oh, ABBC Coin. Remember we were talking about that the past few days? That's Alibaba coin. Alibaba coin, I just learned today. All right, ABBC coin. All right. Bang, single digits up, single digits down for the most part. All right, let's go to our, see what's on sale today, if anything. All right. We got, we got, bang, not much. Top 10 loser of the day. Quant, Repo, Electronium, uh, Electronium uh, QAsh. Engine Coin, Odom, Nexo, Ontology, Mixin, and Pivix. Let's see who made money for the day. Yes, there it is. ABBC Coin is Alibaba Coin. All right. And then top 10 earners of the day, ABBC Coin, QOB Token, Binance Coin, Steam, Digitex Futures, Icon, Project, Pi, Theta, Red coin and arc years. Let's see what our market moves of or anything. Ah, we're still just right here. So 130 into the total volume, market cap of the day. And sorry, not not volume, just your market cap of the day of the total market cap of the day is 130 billion. And the volume of the day is 26 billion. All right, 26.6 billion. All right, let's get to some stories. Bang. All right. Uh, so normally I wouldn't really give a fuck about this, but, you know, I know, I know, a bunch of you are purists and you believe all this and that and that and this and this. And so the gist of the story is, is that Coinbase hired this company, Neutrino, and they're actually an old hacking crew and people don't like it. They, these are old hackers. And so... All right, let me just read this for a second. And so, I mean, so I will just say this. So you can look at it this way. You can be scared of hackers are working for Coinbase and they can take your shit. Or you can look at it this way. 
hackers are working for Coinbase and, well, they know how to defend against hackers and pff, now you have a real crew of defenders. All right. All right. So let's look at it this way. Uh, wait, wait. Let me let you marinate on that. Let me have a, let me get fueled a little bit. So, oh, and so, yeah, man, people are angry. People are angry. Oh, I know. And also, this neutrino crew, they weren't just hackers, like regular ones, black hats, but they were white hat hackers. They worked for the government. So they used to make apps for the NSA and um, shit like that, right? And so that's the other aspect of it is that if you have these kind of hackers watching Coinbase, blah, 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 you know, the government's going to be watching me. They're already watching you, you fucking moron. The only way to get around fucking any of this digital shit is called cash, idiot. Cash. And so I don't know why you guys are complaining about. <laughs> like, duh. You know? I mean, when I was a child, you know, you know, if you murder someone, yeah, you take cash and go across the border to Mexico and hide. Like, <laughs> duh. All right. But I want to have, I want to be digital, but still be anonymous. Never going to happen, buddy. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Coinbase Cryptocurrency Exchange. Oh, Coinbase Cryptocurrency Exchange is one such name, which is one, uh, which is on Limelight every day. <sighs> Especially in the month of February 2019. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just get a sip. This is the biggest story of the day. I didn't even want to read this shit. Because who cares? I mean, they already have the know your client shit. We read about it. Remember, we read about it last, what, September? The FBI guy was like, yeah, we wish everyone used cryptocurrency in their crimes. <laughs> It'd be easy. Come on. Founded in 2012, the exchange continued reaching the, the peak with huge user database around the world. But this trading platform is recently facing aggression from its major U.S. audience following the latest Neutrino hacking team acquisition. They bought this company that was built by this hacking crew and this hacking crew used to sell stuff to the government. The hashtag delete. Oh, my bad. The aggression resulted in boycott that runs on Twitter with the hashtag delete Coinbase. Many Twitter followers in against the acquisition. Whatever, man. This English is horrible. Against the acquisition acquisition deal uh, for Coinbase has followed the rally and eventually deleting their Coinbase accounts. So these guys are deleting their accounts. You know, uh, so in fact, such users are also sharing the snaps of their deleted Coinbase accounts as a shred of evidence to their anger towards the purchase deal that Coinbase has signed recently. So here's a guy right here. This is tweet. Bang. That's his. He's about to delete his account. I'm not going to read his fucking little bullshit tweet. His little anger tweet. It's like when people, I remember uh, there was something and people deleted it or they mashed it up because the guy was anti-Trump or something. Blah, blah, blah. This guy deleted his shit. All right. The antagonism of these users comes after a few experts reveal the history behind Neutrino. Also, as I reported very recently, the founders of Neutrino were working with the hacking team as the lead executives to sell hacking tools to government agencies. When this, first, when this fact got viral, influential crypto figures such as Ari Paul, Francis Polio and other crypto enthusiasts began debating on the controversial acquisition. So they began debating. Yes, crypto nerd debate, crypto nerds debate. All right, go ahead and debate. Concerning the debate, Coinbase reached out to the media via email and responds to the key aspects that lead to debate to that lead to debate. Indeed, in an email, Coinbase said it doesn't condone nor will it defend the actions of hacking team. Um, as a response to this allegation, Coinbase wrote in an email, aware that Neutrino's co-founders previously worked at Hacking Team, which we reviewed as part of our security, technical, and hiring diligence. Coinbase does not condone nor will it defend the actions of Hacking Team, but it, will import, uh, but it was important for Coinbase to bring the, this function 
in-house to fully control and protect our customers' data and Neutrino's technology was the best we encountered in the space to achieve this goal. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. What else we got? There we are. So, nevertheless, Coinbase had multiple acquisitions so far, and no acquisition had boycott as the Neutrino. In other words, no one wanted to boycott them except for this Neutrino thing. In reality, the background that Neutrino founders are carrying is what it... This, these fucking websites, I don't know what language these people are, you know, they're trying to write English, but it's not good. In reality, the background that Neutrino founders are carrying is what it hinders to everyone who's boycotting. What? FYI, for your information, the founders of Neutrino, namely Giancarlo Russo, Marco Valeri, and Alberto Ornag, were involved in selling hacking tools to government agencies. And that eventually became the key reason why Coinbase users are deleting their accounts. So this guy here, oh, he's actually congratulating them. Blah, blah. So uh, whatever. So that's it, guys. So it's up to you. You know what I mean? Like this was on that. I wouldn't even read this shit, really. But it was on every single fucking website today. And and so, yeah, they got a bunch of ex, ex uh, you know, government contractors to work for them so you can look at it whatever you want you know are they going to let them in their databases and all that i mean what are you doing something wrong like i don't care i don't care so view that for yourself fuck sticks bang brothers view that for yourself chew on it i don't have any opinion i really don't give a fuck you want to watch me what do you want to watch me do you want to watch me trench with that bitcoin from that wallet i don't care i don't care i know that's your whole a lot of you guys, the whole anti-government, anti-blah, blah, blah, crap. Like, fuck sticks. I don't really give a fuck about all that. Just make sure that, bang, yes. Just make sure these whales come here nice and smooth. Oh, boy. And we got some whales that are coming in smooth. Smooth criminal. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, we have some smooth ones. The Germans, bang, Van Brienen. Look, so let's get to the next story. So fuck all that, guys. Stop your crying and whining. That's how it's going to go. If you don't like it, well, fucking don't buy crypto then. Stop your crying. All right, buddies. Look, Facebook secretly. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Ripple lovers. Look, look, look. Remember we read that story about Facebook a couple months ago? <laughs> Holy Mark Zuckerberg. He's coming up with a coin. And remember the story. So let me recap it for you. Yes, let me recap it for you because I'm generous like that. Yes, let me fire up a smoke and recap it for my brothers. Yes, brothers. So remember, Facebook is coming out with their own stable coin and they want to do remittance. Oh, no, Ripple lovers. Not Facebook with remittance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zuckerberg says he's a remittance, a remittance having, he's a remittance doing ass motherfucker now. So look, look. He said he's coming out with his coin. And remember what we read? Remember where the testing ground was? He wasn't testing it in some, you know, shitty little country with like a million people or some shitty little city somewhere. Where did he say he's testing? <laughs> he was like, look, look, look. I am testing it and it's going to be on WhatsApp in India. Remember we just read about India. 1.5 billion people. That's his testing ground. That's how he tests. Zuckerberg is like America? Nah, that's not big enough. Bang, I need some India. 1.5 billion, which is five Americas <laughs> in terms of population. And so, apparently, we read that part. So, that was interesting, right? Remember, I was laughing. Oh, my gosh, here comes the remittance. I mean, obviously, if Facebook does really do this, they are going to be the remittance thing of the world. Western Union, all these little remittance things can go pfft, fuck themselves. They're going to get crushed. All I need is a Facebook account to send money. Yeesh. That's not going to be good for anyone. Wow. For those kind of people. Remittance folk. But look, look. So we knew about that, but apparently they've already been in secret talks. Look at this. Secretly talking. Yeah, they're going to put their, that, that little coin they're going to make. Yeah, they want it actually on exchanges and stuff. Yeah, like a regular coin, 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 coin. 
You know what I mean? I thought it was just going to be some sort of Facebook coin. You know, you put in a credit card, you know, bang, you know. You'll get some sort of digital coin in there, send it to your person, you know, remit it to whoever, your mom in, I don't know, whatever country she's at, right? And she'd get it back on the other end, right? No. No, no, no. He's talking about, no. Like, I want a full-on crypto coin, 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 coin. <laughs> like, I want people to buy and sell this thing in exchanges. So check this out. Yee. It's almost unfair. They have so much money, right? Fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker Zuckerberg. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> like if you had some sort of remittance coin, right? And you're like, yes, we're developing it and everything. And all of a sudden this monster roar, just shows up. You're like, oh, shit. Fuck you, Zuckerberg. You son of a bitch. <laughs> all right, guys, check this out. After the consent. Facebook's blockchain blockchain team has made a, a significant amount of progress on its secretive cryptocurrency project since Bloomberg first reported that the company was building a dollar peg stablecoin. Yes. And that's all these companies are going to do, man. They're just going to build stablecoins. All of them. JP Morgan's building one. All these banks are building one. Companies are building them now. It's anyways, let's see. So much of project in fact progress in fact that you may soon the find you may soon you may soon find the WhatsApp focus cryptocurrency listed on a Bitcoin exchange near you. Facebook has already met with Bitcoin exchanges to discuss its WhatsApp token. According to the New York Times. Facebook has already quietly met with multiple Bitcoin exchanges to discuss using their platforms to issue the tokens to consumers. From the report, which was authored by Nathaniel Popper and Mike Isaac, they say, the Facebook project is far enough along that the social networking giant has held conversations with cryptocurrency exchanges about selling the Facebook coin to consumers, said four people briefed on the negotiations. Confirming previous reports, Popper and Isaac cited five anonymous sources who say that the cryptocurrency will be integrated directly into WhatsApp, which had more than 1.5 billion, bang, billion monthly active users as of December 2017. Given that Facebook already announced plans to unite the backend system that runs WhatsApp, Instagram, and Messenger, the cryptocurrency could soon be available to as many as 2.7. This is so stupid. 2.7 billion consumers. You want to talk about remittance? All your coins that are about remittance? You better sell that shit now, son. Sell it. Get out. Because here comes Facebook, which covers what? Roughly 35% of what? The world's population. Not of that little shitty country you live in. Not that it's shitty country. I'm sure your country is magnificent and wonderful. But of the world, 35% of the world, he's coming for remittance. He's about to rock global remittance. No one's going to be doing Western Union. No one's going to be doing uh, what's that other one there with the red logo. Uh, fuck. Anyways, pfft, Facebook is about to rock on the remittance tip. The cryptocurrency would be pegged to the value of the dollar, blah, blah, blah. So it's a stable coin. You, know, you all know how stable coins work. Alongside its cryptocurrency, which has not been confirmed publicly, CEO Mark Zuckerberg has said that the company might use blockchain technology to overhaul its identity and data sharing systems. That would help them with their the know your client stuff, right? If they need to be regulated or whatever. Um, Facebook crypto division has already made at least one acquisition, smart contract development firm Chainspace. The information reports... The information, must be some website, reports that the company also met with Algorand Keybase and the now shuttered stablecoin project Basis. All right. Good for them. Oh, holy, how much more, man? Look. All right, I'll read this part. So, this shows you the team behind it. 
including the former Chainspace employees, Facebook Cryptocurrency Division now has more than 50 delegate dedicated engineers. Dedicated engineers. The product, the project is led by David Marcus. He's the former president of PayPal. Bang. The former president of PayPal runs this and who led the company's messenger team. Notably, he also sat on the board of the U.S. crypto exchange giant Coinbase before resigning and joining this thing, obviously. Blah, 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 blah. They're keeping a tight lid on the operation. When we reached for comment, a Facebook spokesperson declined to respond about a question about whether the company had met the cryptocurrency exchanges. And the spokesperson said, like many other companies, Facebook is exploring ways to leverage the power of blockchain technology. This new small team is exploring many different applications. We don't have anything further to share. Anyways, here comes Bumbuklot Facebook. You know it. I know it. Let's not play games. Bang. So here comes Zuckerberg. And I bring that up in that uh, he's getting to get it real done, done on exchanges. I wasn't going to talk about it, except it sounds like he wants to make it an actual real cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency on exchanges and that, not just for his Facebook thing. And so that's why I brought it up. But also for the remittance thing, fuck, you know, Eesh. all right. Bang, here we go. Yes, we got to add someone. German government to introduce blockchain strategy in mid-2019. Bang. Look, look, look. The chief executive body of the German government, the cabinet of Germany. So you know how every government works. You have the president, and then you have his boys around him. That's called the cabinet. So the cabinet of Germany has revealed that the country's blockchain strategy will be introduced in mid-2019. Bang! Yes, let's add let's add Germany to our list. So we got our list. You guys know how we do it. We got our list. So these are the countries that are already here, and these are the ones we're waiting for. The U so we have Malaysia, Thailand, Jamaica, Philippines, Indonesia, Bahrain. Bang! Yes. But now we're waiting for the U.K., they said this summer, India, oh, and those judges gave their boys only four weeks, so look, 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 Russia, you know, Vladimir, he said, look, bitches, I want my shit by this summer, or I will fucking kill you, bang, so this summer, Russia's coming, and then who do we got, who do we got, what's this one, Germans, the Germans, look, 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 so let's add the Germans to our list, the Germans. Yes. The Germans. Bang. Yes, brothers. We got the Germans coming. And let's read about it. Bang. Oh, and you got they got whales. And let's get real. You know how German rolls? They run shit in the European Union. So once they come out with their shit, I mean it's gonna go probably European Union wide, right? Hmm. Actually, that's an interesting example for all you Bitcoin maximalists, right? All you Bitcoin lovers or all you people who think cryptos are going to take over countries. You think that America and a bunch of countries are going to give over their money for Bitcoins, right? Well, is there any other time in, the, in your contemporary life where sovereign nations have given over their currency? Anything? Can you think of anything? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard of the European Union? Yeah. 27 nations gave over their currency. How's that working out? Not so bad for the Germans. Hey, not so good for the smaller countries, are they? <laughs> all right, Maximus lovers, think about that. All I got to ask you about is all you people who think you know, yes, Ripple's going to be a world money or some any of this shit's going to be some sort of world money. I'm going to ask you one question, genius. Who's going to set the interest rates? Bye! <laughs> now, if you're smart, you know what I just told you. And, oh, yeah, you're right. You get it. If you're not so bright, look, go figure it out, buddy. Who is going to set the interest rates on a global crypto economy? All right, geniuses. Let's go, brothers. The chief executive body of the German government, the cabinet of Germany, 
has revealed that the country's blockchain strategy will be introduced by look, 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 bang, by mid January, uh, sorry, by mid 2019. The cabinet commented on the development of fintech in the country on February 26th, following a request for information from parliamentarians in the Bundestag. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so it looks like the parliamentarians, those are your congressmen or whatever. If you're here in America, that'd be your congressmen or your senators. Well, in other countries, they live in a parliamentary system. We live in a presidential system. So we have congressmen and senators. In their country, they have parliamentarians. Uh, yes. And so it, apparently it looks like they, the parliament, the request for information was from the parliamentarians to the executive. In other words, it sounds like to me that the, the, the politicians were asking Angela Merkel, she's the chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel, she's a woman, she obviously, uh, asking her cabinet, look, give us some sort of ruling, right? So the document notes that fintech sandboxes are currently present in five member states of the European Union, Denmark, Lithuania, the Netherlands, Poland, and the UK. Yee, the UK won't be part of the European Union for much longer. Brexit. But the cabinet states that they will undergo an online consultation process prior to introducing the blockchain strategy. All right. So per the cabinet, the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy are preparing the strategy. All right. So they're putting finance minister, economic and energy ministers on it to build this thing. All right. With the, ex with the exception that other relevant ministries will contribute at a later time. All right. If we need anyone's input, we'll let you come in at a later time. All right. Earlier this month, Reuters reported that the German government is already consulting companies. Nice and industry groups, sweet, that could become stakeholders in the country's blockchain development. It's not just crypto, it's blockchain. Um, according to the report, unnamed organizations have been invited to make recommendations. Well, you know IOTA is all up in there. IOTA is a German company. The Germans! The report also cites unspecified government sources saying that it's unclear whether those recommendations will translate into regulation in the near future, but concrete results are currently being sought. So, obviously, is every recommendation going to translate into regulation? No. But it is going to translate into concrete results up in this. Bang, bang, bang. So, at the end of January, Germany's second largest... Oh, this is what we've been reading since last year, brothers. The German Stuttgart. At the end of January, Germany's second largest stock exchange, Boy Stuttgart Group, officially launched its crypto trading app, Bison, which enables free of charge trading in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, ooh, and Ripple. Bang. In January, major global securities marketplace, Deutsche Börse, said it was making significant progress on its blockchain-based security lending platform. All right, great. Bang, bang, bang. So here comes the Germans. The Germans. Now, now let's be all truth. Let's be truthful. We would rather see European Union-wide regulation, right? That's what we want to see across the whole of Europe, right? All 27 countries encompassing all 300 million of those of the, of the Europeans, right? But look, Germany's the biggest nation over there. It's the most powerful. And, well, you know, when they take the lead, you know, others might fall behind, uh, follow behind the French and anyone else who wants into crypto. So, good news. The Germans are added to our list. Bang. Yes. All right. It's a quick show. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Let's chill and kill it. Let's do our airdrop shout outs. Bang. Hurricane Master. So, got bang. Hurricane Master. So, I hope, I hope you guys went and got his tweet. Oh, I was there before. I did it. What was the fuck was it called? Why is it gone? Eh, hey, whatever, man. Anyway, go get the one. There's an airdrop there. DP Entertainment, see you, brother. Bang. Crypto Bridgie, see you, gal. Bang. Oh, everyone's lined up right here. The Stem Cell Innovations. Bang. Get some research. Oh, I pressed his shit. Oh, look at his shit. It's all Sonic, though. Bang, bang. Yeah, Stem Cell boy. Get us some cures. Why don't you try curing the common cold? <laughs> you know what I mean? 
You know, you do know that, right? You do know that about medicine, right, guys? Yeah, medicine doesn't cure fuck all. There is no such thing as taking a pill to cure something. There's only taking pills to kill the symptom of what it is that's ailing you. But then taking that pill could create symptoms of other shit. You do know that, right? You know that a common cold. Yeah, when you have a cold. Achoo, achoo. Yeah. There's no pill you can cure it. There is no such thing as a cure for anything. There's no cure for cancer. There's no cure for a common fucking cold. All it does is make you feel better. And all a doctor does is he's just basically a body mechanic. He'll patch you up when you're fucked up. Yeah. Medicine cures nothing. Well, I hope they get around to doing some sort of cure. All right. Hurricane Master. Bang. Path to one mil. Bang. Yes. Get the British you Grant. Bang. Master Cat. <laughs> okay. Bang. The darkness. Bang, Justin. See you. Poppy Wood. See you, brother. Edwin. See you, brother. Son of a bitch. See you, brother. Bang. 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 Yes. Lisa. Bang. See you, girl. What we got? Bang. Uh oh. This is one of Poppy Wood's crew. Zena. See you, girl. Bang. Laura. Bang. See you, girl. Crypto Time. See you, brother. Bang. Yes. All right, well, you guys are all packed at the top there. I think we're pretty much done around these parts. Yep, we're done around these parts. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bang, and then we do a bang. Yes. Hello, guys. All right. So we have a good one. Coinbase. So I don't know, man. I don't really have an opinion on that shit. I don't really care if they hired a bunch of ex-hackers who sold stuff to the government. I mean... You know, I mean, do they work for the government now or do they just sell shit to them? I mean, and I don't care. I don't do anything about it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. In fact, I wouldn't mind a bunch of hackers watching over my fucking Coinbase holding. <laughs> Make sure that those other motherfuckers don't get at it. Yeah, I don't mind. All right. Facebook. Well, here it comes, brothers. Not only are they going to do their remittance thing on their own little thing on the on the WhatsApp thing. And you know that's going to expand out to Facebook and just part of their total ecosystem, right? But they want that coin to be on exchanges. So it's going to be, they want a real crypto crypto, not just an in-house kind of crypto thing. So that's interesting. And the Germans bringing us our money, unleashing us their whales. They said by mid, mid-2019, we're bringing you our money. So bang, let's go. Guys, I love doing this for you. It's my favorite part of the day. My name's Shamari Clark. Subscribe below. Press the bell button and you will get automatic updates when I do these. Guys, guys, my name's Shamari Clark. I'm always on duty. I love doing this for you guys. Bang. Shamari Clark. Over and out.